And you know what? I tell people who are into all sorts of music, I tell them, you know what? Substitute it with the Quran. Listen to the various reciters. You'll find a recital that will be soothing to your own nature, to your liking. Tailor-made literally to what soothes you. If I were to ask you, who's your favorite reciter? Let me ask you the question. Just say it loudly. Who's your favorite reciter? Let's hear some names. Abdullah Basfar. Who else? Ra'ad al-Kurdi. Who else? Mahir al-Ma'ikli. Who else? Ajami. Who else? Say it again. Yasir Qadi. Yasir al-Dawsari. You got me surprised. I was saying, is he a reciter? Subhana. But yeah, you get, you, you're right. Dawsari. Yasir al-Dawsari. Who else? Shatri, Fatih, mashallah, all these names. Now, do you agree that every one of them reads differently? Do you know why we have a favorite reciter? You know, I had a, a, a friend who told me, you know what, uh, you heard what Brother Farooq said at the beginning, we're all here for the sake of Allah. That's correct, I agree. We have to be here for the sake of Allah. Okay. Moments later, he said, I want to introduce you to, some, to, to, to the reason why you're here. Did you hear him say that? Isn't there a contradiction? No, there isn't. You're allowed to come for the sake of Allah to listen to your favorite speaker. There's no shirk in there. I heard one scholar say it's shirk. You know why? Because nobody attends his talks. <laughs> I promise you. He says it's shirk to, to, attend, to, to, to attend a specific scholar's talks. You must attend all the talks. Brother, I don't want to attend your talks. You doom me. I feel the heat of Jahannam on my back when you talk. And as for these other guys, when they speak, I feel encouraged. I want to attend. So don't come and lie to me that it's shirk. And I've heard decent scholars say that. And the real reason is because they don't get a good attendance. There's no other reason. If they had a brilliant attendance, they wouldn't say that. I believe that you are allowed to have a favorite Quranic reciter for the sake of Allah because that recitation soothes you. It's not shirk, you know. A shuraim, how beautifully he reads. It's amazing. And if, now we can actually watch. Before we only used to hear the audio. And you watch this man, you know. How many of you were very surprised when you saw for the first time what Sheikh Ali al-Hudhayfi looks like? Right? You're surprised because you've heard him. I heard him since I was a child. When we saw him, I actually met him. When I lived in Medina, I was fortunate enough. Let me not go into all of that. But... I saw him, I said, wow, this is the same voice. Doesn't even look the same, right? But then you get used to it, okay? We're so fortunate. Each one of us has a different temperament. Each one of us has a different, you know, mood. Sometimes, you know, you have Khalil al-Husari, who's a powerful reciter. Really, Shaykh al-Qurra. He's one of the top. He's the Shaykh of all the Qurra. Khalil, his name is Shaykh Mahmoud. Shaykh Mahmoud is his name. Khalil al-Husari. You listen to him, amazing. But some people are not really as moved by that. They can listen to, you know, a more uh, melodious recitation of Sheikh Muhammad, Muhammad Ayyub. Sheikh Muhammad Ayyub, rahmatullahi alayhi. He is sahibul maqam al-hijazi. He reads in a specific way. And he has this maqam, this tune, you know. We heard the recital earlier. A beautiful tune. Some people don't like the tunes. Some people want a loud, you know, straightforward recital. This is part of the miracle of Allah. I, I said earlier, you substitute that with this and see how your life changes. It's not difficult, you know. Those people who are into heavy metal music, if you were to have a recital of someone, you know, Idris Abkar, I think that would wake you up, you know. Who knows Idris Abkar? Listen to his Surah Al-Isra, I ate will. It will conquer any heart. If you go to YouTube and you, you, you search for Idris Abkar Surat al-Isra, I think that's one of the most fantastic recitations he has ever rendered. Because you can have the same reciter, and at times it's a little bit different based on their voice, based on, based on the, the sound, based on the masjid, based on the environment. You could have the same reciter reading in a different way. Subhanallah. Isn't that a miracle? Miracle of the Quran, subhanallah.
Amazing. So many different recitals. They're reading the same Quran, but it sounds so different. It sounds like, you know, this melody is amazing. If I were to imitate a few and ask you, who am I imitating? You, would you know? You would know. Can we try it? Okay, let's try it. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Deen Say your name. Everyone's got it right, right? You want to try someone else? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين Say your name. الحذيفي الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين Say your name. علي جابر Abdullah al-Matrud is similar but slower. You got it. Okay, what about this one? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Deen Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'een Anyone heard that? Anyone heard that before? I see only the people in the first soft know who it was. Please can you put up your hand at the back if you know that, that recitation, you recognize it. Put up your hands. Rahmatullahi alayhi, Shaykh Muhammad al-Subayyil. He was an imam of Makkah in the haram in Makkah for almost 50 years. Subhanallah. Amazing, right? What about? Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. No, come on. An imam in Mecca still called Salih ibn Humayd. You agree? What about? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Deen Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'een Anyone? Ahmad Talib, Muhammad Ayyub. The point I'm raising is it's the same surah, it's the same Quran, it's the same words, but each one is soothing in its own way, impacting upon everyone in its own unique way. So Allah says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبُهُمْ بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبُ It is indeed the remembrance of Allah that will calm the heart of a believer. That's what calms the heart of a believer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the calmness. I've only touched on three or four different aspects of these miracles in a very unique interactive way. The reason is, when we talk about miracles within the Quran, the basics we haven't ever spoken about sometimes, right? And we don't appreciate it. I was saying moments ago, there's nothing wrong in having a favorite reciter for the sake of Allah. If you came here for the sake of Allah to listen to someone who may move you, who will inspire you, there's nothing wrong. Even if it's only a specific person or a group of people or one or two of them, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. May Allah subhanahu